everyone, it's Deli here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be checking out my custom content that I have in my game. In case you don't know what custom content is, custom content basically means that you put into your game assets like clothes and hair and makeup or furniture that isn't actually made by The Sims, it's made by players who are very talented and make it look like it's made by The Sims. If it looks like The Sims stuff, it's called Maxis Match. If it kind of has an aesthetic that looks out of place with The Sims, it's called Alpha Content. I like Maxis Match content just because I like the game to keep the same aesthetic. So everything I'm showing you guys is gonna be Maxis Match. I just have received so many questions from you guys recently, like in the last two weeks, about what custom content I'm using. So I'm like, well, I better show you guys what it is and give that a credit where it's due. So let's look at the eyes. These eyes are actually a little bit different to the EA eyes. These are actually called Daydreaming Eyes and they're by a creator called Reticulates, I think. You can see um, the images here. These are the EA looking eyes and pupils. Whereas the daydreaming eyes has like two little shine or sheen points on it and the colors can be a little bit more vibrant looking. So those are the eyes. In terms of lashes, I get a lot of questions about what lashes I use. I use Kijiko's lashes, however you pronounce that. They come in a whole heap of different uh, sizes and shapes, long or shorter ones. And I absolutely love these lashes. I think they're fantastic and a lot of people use them. However, I also use a little bit of an overlay, I think that goes over these lashes um, by Plum Bob Juice. So these are probably the ones a lot of you guys have been asking about and they basically are just a little bit more dramatic and a little bit over the top. So I believe you need to have these Kijiko ones originally, version two I use, and then you kind of have this overlay as an option, I think. I don't think you can get them separately. Let's um, maybe bring back the lashes to be a little bit shorter and have a look at some makeup. In terms of eyeliner, I do like to use the simple Grim Cookies Cat Eye Eyeliner a lot of the time. But I also have a set by Twink Simstress uh, over here, which also are really, really nice because there's a few different designs and shapes. And I find definitely a lot of Sims, depending on their eye shape, uh, different eyeliners are going to suit them a little bit more nicely than others. In terms of eye makeup, I typically just use Grim Cookies eye makeup most of the time. It just seems to work on most of my Sims. And I don't like to have too much makeup personally because I just don't focus on it that much. Oh, also my Sims skin actually might look a little bit different. And that's because I have a full skin that is custom content and default. So it's applied to all my Sims and that is also by Grim Cookies. Another thing I get asked about a lot, which I don't use for every Sim, is I actually have a little lip slider, which means that I can part their lips slightly. Now it only works um, when you turn the head this way and then you double click in to zoom up on the mouth and then you can actually separate the lips like that and see the teeth. Now this definitely isn't for everyone. It's like a little bit of a player aesthetic that some people like and others don't, but I really like it. And this is by HFO. So I'm not sure who HFO is, but I'll put them on the screen or link them in the description for you guys. There's also some other skins that I occasionally use. Oh wait, I was using these on top of the Grim Cookies, I think. Okay, so this is the Grim Cookies. These, I don't actually know who these are by. Okay, I've just looked through my folders and also tried to Google the names of these skins and I can't find out who the creator is. If anyone knows, can you please comment down below? Because I can't find it in Google. Um, but yeah, these these skins are they're really nice overlays. So hopefully someone can um, point them out. Hopefully, I'm really sorry to the creator that I'm not sure what the name is. This is when creator names on the thumbnails can actually be quite helpful. Just to be able to credit people. But in saying that, when Grim Cookies and I have done collabs, we don't always put our names on the thumbnails. So I totally get it if you don't. I do have a few skin details as well. Uh, WMS, I have some really, really lovely freckles that I love to put on my Sims. And I also love the fact that they extend down to the body as well and the neck. Um, so those are my favorite freckles to use. And I also have these freckles by Mousy Sims that cover more of the face and are definitely more visible. Sometimes people actually ask me where to get acne and this is from the Parenthood 
pack. So this is actually from Maxis where you get pimples, but I also use the Slice of Life mod currently in my game where they can also get breakouts as well. Lipsticks, I use Grim Cookies um, lipstick. This is my favorite. I've actually used it for a very long time since before I knew him personally. Uh, I just love these lips because I don't know, they just come in the perfect amount of colors and always look super nice, especially the red. The red looks pretty, pretty amazing. My nails are stored in the ring section, I think, or the bracelet section, the ring section. Uh, and I have two kinds of nails. I have these really long ones that I use, and I also have the, if I take those off, the shorter ones that I use in different colors. And I just have the two in my game. These small ones are by Maria Maria or Maria Maria. And then the longer ones are by Preline. Uh, but I find these are really great. The only thing is if you use the nails, you can't use rings because they essentially act as another ring. And occasionally the bracelets are a little weird, or maybe they've updated them. So the bracelets are okay. Oh, and heading back to the makeup again, there is one highlighter that I've used a lot, which is by Tarab, T-A-R-A-A-B. And it, it's probably not ideal for darker skin tones or deeper skin tones, because it, you know, it looks a little over the top. But I find this, the softest one uh, on the lighter skin tones can look quite nice if we just go a few shades lighter, see? But I find that usually it's too much as soon as you go to like a mid skin tone. Otherwise on these, that's kind of a nice pop of highlighter. So it would be good if there were, if it was updated um, to be better with the deeper skin tones. And I would really love to find some blush because I'm still just using the base game blush. A lot of you guys have also been asking me about these earrings that I put on a lot of Sims. I love them because they're so simple um, and they can be in different colors and you can layer them depending on which ones you use. And you can even put them on both ears, so you can have them on both at the same time, or you can just have them on one ear. You can customize them a lot. And I think these are by Simple Simmer. I think that's what the SS stands for. And recently I got some earrings that I'm really loving. Uh, Okrui, not sure if that's how you pronounce their name properly, but this is just a simple key earring that I think looks really, really cool. And it's a single earring, so I feel like it's, pretty awesome on, you know, edgier sims, or uh, it's really nice on guy sims too. I have these simple ones, drop earrings from Grim Cookies, which are quite nice. And then Okrui has these really cool hoop earrings, which are a new addition to my sims earring family, uh, which I think look pretty awesome. And then for sims who I want to show a little more realism on their body. I don't always do this because I don't want my Sims to look too realistic all the time. But say if I do want to add some more diversity into my game, these ones here are really great because if your Sims are a little curvier, it's a little bit more realistic, I guess. What? So all of these are by Vibrant Pixels who also has a Patreon. So I think these are fantastic. There's also this more defined muscle preset as well. So it's like a real, defined six pack more so than the game will provide you. Uh, this one, if we just take this down a little bit, is a little bit more realistic with curves again. And these are some of my favorites too, because the shapes of the legs and hips are a little bit more realistic too, like thighs that actually will touch, whereas in the game, the <laughs> thighs don't, like there's usually a thigh gap on most things. Um, this one I love as well because there's little little hip dips, which are nice, which I actually have. <laughs> so I like when I can give my Sims little hip dips too. And then this one, which obviously has a wider um, a wider hip as well. So those are actually really nice if you want to add some more diversity into your game. Hairs, uh, it would take me a while to go through all of them and I have gone through a lot of hairs in other videos. So you can definitely check out my other CC haul videos if I don't show you something in this one. Uh, but I do have um, hairs from Grim Cookies. So this is actually a modified hair from Get Famous, I think. Um, but there's also some really nice items like uh, this low bun from Grim Cookies. Uh, this one's a popular one. This one's by Saurus. So this is a pretty cool hair. Uh, if I put it in the orange, you guys might be able to see more of the details more easily. Uh, there was a new pack, Soak, released. I believe this was a collaboration with 
Vikai and Green Llamas. So this is a really cool pack. Um, this hair is probably my latest favorite hair. I think this is so nice. I've been using it a lot. And this is really cool because you get a whole heap of hairs and clothes in one one pack download. So that's always nice. Uh, this hairdo is pretty cool as well. A nice high ponytail, uh, like a more casual, natural looking hair too. These are a couple more of Grim Cookie hairs as well. WMS makes a lot of um, cool stuff as well. This is like a cute little, little do. A Harris 00 Brittany does a lot of fantastic hairs too. So here's a few of them that I'll show you all really nicely made. Um, super user friendly too, straight, curly, different lengths. Sim Laugh Love has a really nice ponytail as well. Sim Laugh Love has some really good stuff too. I mean, all of these creators have great stuff. Oh, I just realized that this one is from the Sog pack as well. It's just got a different um, picture or logo on it. These are also by Green Llamas as well. So this is pretty cool. They do so many great hairs and really nice different varying textures, which I really love to see. So here's a few different hairdos from them. And actually they've got some really nice hairs that they've brought out recently, I think, that I don't have yet. So I definitely want to check out those. Uh, more Grim Cookies, more Grim Cookies. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Wanda Carlotta has some really cool things as well. I really love their, um, their tumbler. They have a lot of CC finds as well, which are really nice. <laughs> now this hair, I actually don't know who did this. I thought it was Grim Cookies, but I could be wrong. So I actually don't know who to credit for this one either because there's no label on it. <laughs> Wildly Miniature Sandwich or WMS did this hair, which I thought was pretty sick. Half shaven, half long hair. Really cool as well as this little side bun, which is really nice. Uh, Wanda Colotta again, the cute little, little hairdo here. Feline with this hair, which I actually haven't used this hair that much because there was a little bit of um, weird line stuff going on here with this one. So I'm not sure if that's because it's clashing with something else I have in my game or or what's going on there. Okrui has this hair as well. Uh, the same maker who created the earrings. More Grim Cookies. Kumikya has this hair, which is stunning. I love this. I've used this hair a lot. Really, really nice. And Kuibli made this hair, which is kind of an Ariana Grande-esque long plait. And I think they did a great job on this as well. I haven't seen anyone do hair this long uh, so well, actually. I don't think in, in my small world of custom content. This hair here is one of my favorites as well. I'm a little bit biased because this was in the Grim Cookies Deligracy CC pack. So you can actually download this off my website. Um, but this hair I loved and Grim Cookies just, I don't know, just created it. I didn't even speak with Luke about this one and he was like, I made a hair and I was like, wow, I'm in love. <laughs> so that's really cool. More WMS. She Speaks Simlish uh, did this hair, which is pretty cool. Very nice, very awesome. I think this hair is by someone called Lily Sims, uh, which this hair is one of my personal favorites too. This hair, a lot of you guys have said that you really like, and I was quite blown away by it. I just wanna double check that it is by Lily Sims. Yeah, by Lily Sims. So definitely get this in your game because that's that's one of the best curly hairs I've seen. More Grim Cookies, another fave of mine. Ridgeport, uh, Grim Cookies collab. WMS. This was a was a favorite for a lot of players. A while oh, when I say a while ago, it's still a favorite for a lot of players. More Grim Cookies. Uh, this hair is really beautiful. This is by someone called Celebi88, and this is probably the formal updo I use the most in the game. I thought it was just stunning. More WMS. This one I love. This is by Simondi, and I don't really use these other colors very often, but I think for those of you guys who play the Not So Berry Challenge, you might enjoy these very bright, vibrant colors. The mint's pretty cool. I love that. I've used a few of those colors. Uh, but yeah, you've got obviously all the Sims Stocker standard colors too. More WMS. Oh, this is a Harris 00 Brittany again. Uh, I still don't know, even though they're very well known, 
I still don't know how to say their name properly, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a really cool hair by them as well. Can't go wrong. Okri has a couple more hairs. This hair I think is sick, such a good updo. So nice, bit sassy as well. And they also did this hair, which I really like in the black colorway. Uh, very different to the other hair I have, WMS. Uh, we've got a couple from Cot Cat here too with some really, really nice textures as well. Uh, and this one's really nice. Oh, this is one of my favorites too, the low ponytail. I've used this so much. And also this straight hair too. That's a really nice one. More Grim Cookies. And you can actually put an ombre overlay over this one. Grim Cookies again. Cot Cat again uh, with some really nice textures here. And that's a longer version. So that's really, really nice. A Harris Brittany again. Butterscotch, I think this is Butterscotch Sims. Yeah, this one's a popular one too. Very, very cute. Really, really nice. And this is another one who I don't know who the creator is to credit. Uh, I, yeah, I just have no idea. If anyone knows, I think this is really beautiful. And there's so many colors that this comes in as well. And I've used this so much, but I just don't know who it's by. Uh, this is another one by Simple Simmer, I think. Really, really pretty, super pretty hairdo. Uh, more Grim Cookies, beautiful textures. Okri, another one of theirs with a plait kind of that goes around the head and a Harris Brittany again. So that's kind of racing through some of the hairs. <laughs> My gosh, there's so much to go through. All right, and then we still have some clothes to go through and I haven't even touched on any guy stuff. A lot of the time I often have clothes that are just unlocked with the unlock uh, full create a sim cheat. So if you see things like this jacket, this is an unlockable, uh, these festival t-shirts you unlock from City Living, a lot of these things are actually already in the game and are not custom content. I'll show you a few custom content items. Uh, a lot of these are just recolors of, or retextures of the existing ones in game, but this is by Okuri, Ok, oh. Okrui. <laughs> so this is the fur jacket, uh, this t-shirt. I actually don't know who this is by, unfortunately. Grim Cookies uh, cropped the Moschino top. So that's pretty cool. Double Plum Bob edited this one, which I think is so handy and so nice. I love all the different colorways. All the swatches are so handy and I love this yellow one particularly. So that's a good one. Uh, the Serg uh, edit that I was talking to you guys about, they released a few different tops, which are a bit of fun, so you can check those out as well if you're into into spicing up the closet with those items. Uh, this one might look familiar from a dress from The Sims. Love this top. This is probably my favorite from that collab. Like this top I've used so much since I've put it in my game. A Harris Brittany, I believe, did a set of little tops, which I use a lot. These are really handy. A lot of basic tops as well. Uh, this one's really pretty actually. This is a particularly nice one in my opinion. Um, some little frilly numbers. You got, what is this? Like a, a crochet looking one. And then uh, these basic ones are actually from the Grim Cookies Deligracy collab. So you can get these and they go really nicely with matching pencil skirts and leggings. It was kind of like an athleisure looking simple set of basics and also this long sleeve top which I really like too. So these are great basics to just have in your game uh, and they also come in the more colorful swatches for those of you guys who aren't interested in the neutrals or if you want to pair neutrals with the brighter colors as well. Now this top I believe is by a creator maybe called Rusty Sims. I could totally be wrong. I'm not sure, but this one I really, really love as well and I've used a lot, but I can't actually see the name in the upper corner here. So I'm hoping that's an R, but I could definitely be wrong. That's, this is really handy, this cropped sweater. Grim Cookies released a university revamp. So if you have a Sims 4 university, or whatever it's called, university life? Discover University. Uh, he like changed some of the items in that that weren't particularly well fitted. So for instance, this was quite a frumpy jumper, turtleneck, and now it's like a much more nicely fitted item, uh, which I find to be more usable or user-friendly. This was a dress that has turned also into a tucked in bodysuit, which is quite nice, or top. This, I just don't know what this is. And these, I'm actually not sure who these are by either. And a lot of you guys were asking about these ones too. 
So these are by someone starting with V. Maybe if I just type V Sims custom content. Yeah, I got no idea who these are. It's only a V on them. They're really cute though. So if anyone can timestamp and tell viewers where those are from, that would be great. This is by Gloomfrit. Gloomfish, they like cut uh, an existing item. I think Grim Cookies redid these, I call them cutlets. <laughs> cutlets, cutlets. I think they were originally in Discover University, but he uh, made them a little bit more wasted and a little bit more fitted, which is quite nice. These jeans, more from the Sog collab. We have some nice trousers here. This is really cool. I love these pants with the bow on the side. I think they did, you know, a really nice job on these actually. And there's even a few pinstriped uh, swatches, which I thought were pretty gorgeous too. This is a really good like basic skirt that, I mean, you can use all the time. This is so nice. I love, love, love this skirt. This skirt was a really good addition. Love that. So some more cutlets. Love this colorway. I think I've used the red ones the most out of these, but some really fun patterns as well. A Harris Brittany has a whole heap of denim items that I think you could download all in one pack. So these are really nice, both colored and denim colored uh, items that are really great, like just basic things for your game. If you're just looking for a, a set to get you started with uh, custom content. And this one's Okri, same person who did the earrings. Um, so that's a nice little denim skirt. Here's the Deligracy Grim Cookies bike shorts and leggings. You can see those. And Grim also made the cats and dogs skirt into neutral colors and also a little bit shorter. And it looks really cute with tights underneath. BOP, uh, not sure who BOP is, but they created um, these jeans. I think it was from Get Famous without the makeup brushes on the side. Oh, they must, actually they must be bowl of plum bobs. That's who BOP I think is. Uh, so they, they did a really great job um, doing these jeans. Thank you very much. <laughs> I use them all the time. Here's a pencil skirt from Grim Cookies and Deligracy collab. Again, just like super easy basics that you might want to have in your game. And Grim also made these jeans as well, which I thought were really lovely with the little um, frayed leg bottoms. Grim also made these uh, pants too, which are pretty cool. Not for everyone, but I thought they were pretty awesome. And this is my favorite in the camera. And this is from the Grim Cookies University uh, changes. This was just changing an existing dress in the university park. And then if we jump onto some fully closed outfits, uh, this is one of my favorites. This is by Double Plum Bob, a recoloring of an existing outfit, I think. Uh, so this was really nice. I love that it's just like plain colors super useful, super pretty. And they also made it in a whole heap of these uh, different patterned swatches too, which are really nice. This dress, you might um, might realize it's familiar. Uh, this is new colorways, new swatches for you guys. Uh, Grim Cookies did some really big dramatic dresses as well, if you're looking for some formal wear like this. More of the Serg collaboration, which really was massive. And I love this dress. I thought this was so beautiful and so beautifully made. That's just stunning. And they've got a few other items as well. So a little silky number. This is this is really cool. I uh, love this one. We've got a turtleneck. I've been using this one a lot personally. Here's another off the shoulder number. Some bathers from A. Harris Brittany. Brittany A. Harris, sorry. Uh, which I use all the time as well. Simple Simmer also made some of these really cute um, little numbers of like collared shirts tucked into little skirts, as well as this one, which I love this top from I think Get Together at once. So that's really cute. Grim Cookies, a little a little party dress for those of you Sims who are going out on the ta town. WMS again. I'm wondering if this dress is by Rusty. Um, I love this dress. It's probably the most alpha looking dress I have in the game, but at the same time, I still think it's Maxis match enough for me. Uh, I love that. I think that's really pretty. Moon trait, little dress with a shirt underneath. I like it over stockings. Sentate has created this number, which I thought was awesome. I loved this. Bridgeport Grim Cookies collab. They made uh, some little simple dresses. 
another Grim Cookies number. More simple simmer, just like nice little dresses with belts, without belts, different kinds of shapes. Mint Valentine created this dress, which I really like. Uh, I would like to see it with straps though, I think. Um, so I'm gonna keep my eye out for some more dresses in that kind of style. Let's maybe jump to some of the guys' stuff real quick. Uh, I don't really have much for kids at all, so that's not gonna be very exciting for you guys. I don't have much in terms of guys' stuff, but I do have a few hairs you might be interested in. Uh, Okuri, ok ok Okrui did this uh, little man bun, which I thought was very nice. Grim Cookie's hair, which we've already seen. A. Harris Brittany did this little man bun, which is pretty cool, as well as this more curly, middle-parted hairdo. Love that. Uh, Ahub did this one. Simple Simmer did this ponytail. I think it also comes in a bun. Okrui did this hairstyle, which I absolutely love. These are a couple of Grim Cookie ones. This one's a particular fave. I also love this one. I don't think Luke is a big fan of this one that he created, but this is actually one of my favorites, uh, especially for my redhead Sims. And this is probably my favorite guy's hairdo. Oh, I do like this one as well, but this one's by QWERTY. And I really like this because it's got a little bit of like a K-pop vibe to it. I wonder what's happening here. It usually doesn't clip like that. Um, but I really like that hairdo as well. Guy stuff, uh, Double Plum Bob did a nice hoodie jacket. Uh, a. Harris Brittany's done some fun shirts, basic shirts to kind of tuck in or be slightly tucked out, super handy. Uh, so there's a few of those. Grim Cookies uh, did this shirt. Okrui did this one, which I think a few of you guys were asking about because it does come in some really nice stripey swatches. This one I've probably used the most out of everything and this is just a modified university or Discover University item by Grim Cookies. Really, really handy. This is a Grim Cookies suit, so cool. And it comes in pink, which I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> and A. Harris Brittany had some really nice jeans and shorts for guys, which I really like. Um, but yeah, you can tell I, I get far more deeply involved in the women's world of custom content than the guys. I do need to get more guys stuff. So if this was helpful, let me know in the comments down below. Again, super apologies that I can't track some of the creators. Uh, that's why having names on thumbnails can be really helpful. Yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Dag dag!